Hello and welcome to my channel. I have received the X-Tool F1 Ultra, so let's do the review. This is a website of this engraver, xtool.com. Let's look at the specs. It's uh, super fast. The working area is 220 mm by 220 mm. It has two lasers, diode laser, blue laser, 20 watts power, and the fiber laser, infrared laser, also 20 watts power. And thanks to this infrared laser, it can engrave metals, it can cut some metals, thin metals, and it can also 3D engrave. It has a built-in camera, and thanks to this built-in camera, it can do the autofocus, and also it can do what is called smart fill. It means that it can detect your piece on which you want to engrave, and it can position the engraving accordingly. It also has the control panel with the touchscreen. This is super useful, like this you don't need to have the computer next to your engraver, and you can engrave from USB stick. Here is the fiber laser, the diode laser. It can do the 3D engraving. This is what is called embossing or 3D engraving. It has the eye protection cover. This is quite unique feature for the fiber laser. Usually they don't have any enclosure. And thanks to this enclosure, it can efficiently extract the fumes. You can buy different accessories for it, like, uh, for example, the conveyor belt. You can also do the engraving on the cylinders. I think the most useful thing is a smoke purifier. Unfortunately, I don't have one, but maybe I will buy one. The box is quite big, but I think this box is well designed. So let's unbox it. I think it's going to be quite interesting. They have put the instruction how to unbox it. I think this is a really nice touch. And we need to pull on these two ribbons. Maybe we can pull this one. Yes. Ah, you see, the packaging is really well made. So when you take it out, you take it without uh, the foam. So like this, it's easier. Good thinking. It's bigger than I thought. As I told you, the packaging is well made. So you can see over here like this, you know exactly what you need to do. And let's reveal it. Ta-da! It's huge! <laughs> Again, the next steps are well marked. One over here, one on this side, many on top. Silicon protection. So, as you can see, it's quite dangerous product. It has enough power to blind someone. This engraver has an eye protective cover, so safety goggles are not required, but advisable for added protection. Always ensure that the cover is properly closed and avoid direct exposure to the laser beam. And to get these boxes out, we need to open the lid. Uh -huh. First of all, we need to take out the bottom one. And it does not work, I don't know why. Ah, it's like this. Now we can take the box out. Touch screen. The second box. They even put this part like this. You don't forget to take off the cover. The packaging is top. Let's look at this one. Some small parts. And it seems like this one only for the protection. But I think we can use it to engrave something. Let's open these boxes to check what is inside. Example project. USB-C cable, screwdriver. This is to clean the lens. Uh, this is a key uh, for this machine. So without this key, this machine is not going to work. This is a kind of security feature. This is a part to position your piece inside the machine. This is quite useful. What is example project? Start your laser creation journey with this project. And there is some material and the reference to the project. The touch screen to control this machine. This, I think, should be super useful. Oh, it's quite big one. Look. Nice size. And there is a physical buttons. Oh, this is also button. And very good one. 
Start or stop material processing, framing, and lift and lower the laser module for focusing. So we should have the material pack, user manual, power cable, power adapter, pipe, and uh, the panel for cutting. Safety instruction, quick start guide. The pipe for exhaust, quite big one. <laughs> this is a huge power supply. 24 volts, 10 amps. It's quite heavy actually. Power cable, material pack, and the board to cut the material. It has rubber parts. Let's look at the material pack. So what do we have here? Plywood, some kind of leather pocket. I don't know, piece of paper. This is the aluminum uh, business cards for engraving. I don't know what is this. I think this is leather. Stone. I suppose this is a steel for engraving. Another steel. I think this is anodized aluminum. And the second stone. Unfortunately, they don't put the explanation of what kind of material. I don't know what is this. Let's look at the lens. It's huge! <laughs> no wonder that this is expensive. The safety USB key goes here. The touch screen goes here. And the power supply. And this is of course to connect the tube to extract the fumes. It's actually quite heavy, so it's not easy to move it around. The most important part of any review. Let's switch it on for the first time. And probably we need to push the power button. There is a light inside. So with this I can move the focus. You see it goes up. Like this I can finally take off these pieces. So let me show you how the focus is working. As you can see right now there are two dots. And in order to focus the machine we need to bring them together. Now the machine is in focus. But it's focused on this uh, lever. So it means that when you put something here it's going to be out of focus and you need to refocus. By the way, this plate should be oriented like this, with the slots uh, in this direction. This is needed in order to easily evacuate the air underneath. So it goes through these channels to the fan, which is uh, over there. And by the way, there is a light inside in order to illuminate your workpiece. Listen the sound when I'm going to open the door. I think this is a security switch. So I'm pretty sure they put the security switch for the door. This is really nice. To connect to your PC it's super easy. USB-C cable goes directly to your PC or Mac and over there you need to run XTool Creative Space. It's easy to use and quite powerful software. Here we need to create a new project. We can name rename it. Switch on the machine. Connect device through USB please. Okay, let's calibrate it. You need to do this only once to ensure the good performance after the long distance transportation. This is a paper for calibration. It was included in the material pack. So press engrave. Look at this. Completed. Time used. <laughs> Zero seconds. As far as I can understand, it's going to calibrate the absolute position of both lasers. And you can see the engraved crosses from them. By the way, this image is taken by the built-in camera. Okay, let's try to recognize. Seems perfect. This is what was engraved. Uh, now the connection. Wi-Fi settings. Please uh, set the Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi configuration is complete. Perfect. Now I can disconnect this cable. 
and still connect to the machine connect device through Wi-Fi this one and it's connected perfect now I don't need to use the cable I have put the machine close to the window like this I can put the exhaust tube through the window outside and this means I will be ready to test it with actual engraving let's start with this simple paper I put a little bit of scotch like this it's not going to fly because of the fan the focusing is already good so this is what I'm going to engrave and over here you can see all the parameters so uh, let's start with the blue laser so this one is with a blue laser 50% uh, 1400 millimeters per second this one is what they call score also blue light with these parameters and so here it's a blue light here it's infrared so this one is 5060 this one is engraved uh, over here and this one is a score which is uh, which is over here yeah so I hope there is a lot of uh, small details maybe let's make this one smaller like this is going to be more small details let's check the framing it seems good and let's try to run it go to process everything seems fine now start here file is sent and we need to press the button and let's start oh this is fast nice this was easy you see with the blue laser it's a little bit yellowish and with the infrared laser it's uh, more white now I would like to try the stone we need to correct the focus so this is a framing it's barely fits yeah and start And you can easily see this bird for the blue laser and you can barely see this bird for the infrared laser and it should be the snowflake over here blue laser is better for some material infrared laser is better for other materials anodized aluminum disclaimer I have received this machine for free to make a review and I can keep it after this video but I can say whatever I want in this review. I can say the positive thing or negative thing. This anodization is quite light, so usually the engraving on the light anodization does not look good. But over here, it's quite uh, impressive. And look at all these details. Even the blue laser did a quite good job. And here I have realized that thanks to the built-in camera I can focus laser automatically and I can easily position the engraving on the material let me show you how to do this to focus laser automatically you can use this button now it's perfectly in focus and with this one you can see the image from the camera like this you can easily position your engraving you can actually see all the small details for example check these tiny letters a b c one two three incredible so now to repeat the work what i just need to do i just go to the last project and let's start it for this double click as you can see the control panel is super useful especially when you need to repeat the same engraving over and over again I've made many cards like this and if you want to do the 3d engraving you need first of all to have the image like for example this one let's position it in the middle and over here you need to choose embossment 
материал. And you can see that it's going to take 12 hours. 12 hours. It's a lot. It's really, really a lot. It's way faster with the stone. Only one hour. Still a lot of time. I tried several materials for the 3D engraving. It works great and relatively fast with the stone. It's still slow, but uh, it's faster than other materials. You can see it over here. And the depth of engraving here was around uh, 3 millimeters, And it took uh, less than 20 minutes uh, to engrave. It also works with aluminum. I used brass settings, but it's really, really slow. It's painfully slow. So over here I engrave the area 13 by 13 millimeters, And after 15 minutes of engraving, I have the depth only 0.4 millimeters. But it looks quite nice. I also tried the kappa, but it did not work at all for me. I have zero noticeable depths. After 15 minutes of engraving, zero noticeable depths. Afterwards, I also tried the stainless steel. And it's already engraved something, but after 15 minutes, the depth was around 0.1, maybe 0.15 millimeters. So the depth was quite small. Conclusion. I have made a lot of engravings on different materials and it's almost always worked perfectly. The 3D depth engraving looks amazing, but it is slow. I personally like the control panel. It's super useful. It's uh, way more useful than you can think. And I can see only two negative things about this machine. First of all, the price. It's quite expensive, but this we can understand. I think the optics uh, for such a big uh, working area is expensive. And the second negative thing is uh, that the lid, sometimes it closes perfectly, but sometimes when you close it with this handle, it does not close uh, completely. You see right now there is a small gap over here. But it's easily to solve. You just need to push it on the top and now it's completely closed. Even before when it was not closed completely, I think it was uh, closed uh, enough to be safe. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Thank you to people who support me via Patreon and via YouTube channel membership. Here are their names. Thank you. As usual, stay safe, good luck with your projects and see you next time. And by the way, I will try to do the project with this machine.